All right, so it wasn't long ago up in Glens Falls, New York, Kyle found a 50 caliber bullet underneath a renovation pond, a pond that we were renovating it. And today, look what we find while we're digging in Colony. Maybe this was Al Capone's. <laughs> I don't know. think so. What do you think, Kyle? It's up in the air. Hmm. Nevertheless. It's <laughs> Today I have to take a road trip and I gotta pick out rock for this next project. We are building a recreation pond in a backyard that's only about 20 by 60. Yep, 20 by 60. It's gonna be all pond. It's gonna be a really fun project. The owner is super excited, but when he came out to see our displays, he saw the uh, Missouri moss rock, we call it, weathered limestone. And unfortunately, there's only one place to go get that and it's three hours away. I probably could have let them pick it out, but we really want to pick out our own rock when it comes to the Missouri moss rock and I am gonna show you why. So the difference between our native rock and this Missouri moss rock or weathered limestone, whatever you might wanna call it, is it's all creaky and craggy and it's just got a really cool texture and that's what this particular homeowner wanted next. So I really know what I wanna look for in this type of rock because when he goes underwater, he wants to see the cracks and crevices and all that cool stuff on this particular type of rock. So I wanna make sure that we do the best we can to give him what he wants. So I am gonna pick this out. Normally we can just say, hey, just bring us some boulders that are two by threes, three by fours, and that sort of thing. But when it comes to this craggy stuff, you really have to see it because I really don't want a bunch of what I would call garbage rock. Not that these people sell garbage rock, not by any means, but for me, I'm looking for something specific and that's exactly what I'm gonna go pick out. So I am here and I am up in Geneva, which is in the western part of New York State. It's about three hours from our location in Pattersonville. I've been here multiple times over the years when we get a specialty rock we need. This is the Missouri Moss Rock or weathered limestone. Everybody calls it something different, but it comes from the Midwest. It is a little bit more expensive, a little, but every once in a while we get a, a particular client that really wants it and it builds a phenomenal feature. So it's just got all those cracks and crevices and craggies. So far I've picked out about 10 pallets. The bad news, I can only get 16 because that's all they can get on a tractor trailer. But what a bunch of phenomenal rock. Check out this rock yard. So as far as you can see, nothing but boulders and rocks, cobbles, but this is a type of rock that I am looking for right in here because it has all that natural crevices and it's just weathered and it looks awesome. These are some smaller ones, but check out that big boy right there. And look at that palette. It's just got all this cool stuff on it. That one with the green ribbon, I'm taking that one because it's got a lot of cool pieces on it. And then we got some other here. What I have to do is wait until he's done load or weighing it. He's scaling it for me so I know how much I can get on a trailer. So a start to another recreation pond. This is really gonna be a cool spot because it's only a 20 foot wide yard and we're gonna maximize all the space to have a pond, waterfall, skim cove, 
and a beach area in this backyard it is just going to be so cool because it's such a nice tight spot that it's going to be quaint it's going to be like everything is in your face all through here so we have a whole plan drawn for this but of course like always it's going to morph so we're going to have different elements things are going to be changed up a little bit down in this side is where your whole beach area is going to be so the beach is going to be all down in here the pond is going to end about even with the house then we have stream wetland area all back over in there but the cool part is no matter where you look out of the back of that house or the new sliding door that's going to go into the back of that garage no matter where you look out you're going to be able to see pond and waterfall this is going to be such a cool backyard Alright, so right now we got the beach area all carved out. We dug it a little bit extra deep so then that way when you're digging in the sand you're not going to hit any underlayment or liner. Over in this section we started to scallop out where our skim cove is going to go because we want that water to all pull right down and around there back into where the pump area is going to be. And then we got a three foot and a two foot and a three foot area started. We can only dig so far because our uh, machine is only going to reach so far and our access is tight so we're going to have to start over here and we're going to have to keep folding liner back, dig a little bit more, fold back again and keep going from that point. Alright, so we already have our skim cove in on this pond because it's a recreation pond we're not going to do a traditional small skimmer like you would see on a koi pond what we did is we made this big aqua block area we want to have plenty of area for debris and stuff to go because there is these trees in the background so right now we are starting to set these stones because we need to set our wear which means we need a spot for that water to kind of come through here and pull a current so we got our first two stones set and this is what's going to set the stage for our skimming area. Right now this rock right here is about four inches under grade which means we're going to have about an inch of water over that. Just to, to the left of this rock we're going to go a little bit smaller rock so then that way we have a little bit more water to pull. So between these blockers that we got that one here and we're going to put another one over here those pumps are going to be drawing that water all the way through and around here. This section right here where this shelf is we're going to block this all off. So so the water has to go through our skim area that way it'll pull all that debris back around over here So today is Wednesday and our Missouri limestone is getting delivered. We have a truckload over here. This rock getting delivered. We ordered 20 pallets. We got seven pallets unloaded so far. So we have about 13 more to go. 
Because this rock is beautiful. It, it has so much character and it's just awesome. I can't wait to build with it.